Well, I've experienced my first little chunk of heartache with this agricultural experiment. Diane gave birth and the baby died. I didn't even know. I just coincidentally walked around the corner and there was a dead, a dead kid on the ground, a beautiful white baby kid. I just cleaned out the, the they've been living in a trailer, an enclosed trailer because it's been a week of rain. And I just raked it out and put a brand new straw bale in there to make it, you know, cozier and, and warmer, thinking pretty soon we're going to have some kids. And now that I'm looking, I see that her, uh, that her udder is hanging down for the first time ever because it's always been tucked up tight. I'm guessing that it was last night. I never heard a thing. I never saw a thing. I don't see any wounds on it. I just, I guess she just didn't know how to take care of it. Nanny here is a, a twin machine and she's ready to dump any day now. So I need to segregate her. I don't know if the baby dropped and Nanny ran it off or if Pa ran it off if it got stomped on if it just fell down outside and couldn't get back in and did nanny not get up and treat it like her own I, I don't know i'm too inexperienced i wasn't there to see what happened and i wish i i wish i was so that i could know what the actual problem was did it just lay outside for a day half a day half a night um i just don't know i just don't know and i wish i did and i'm blaming myself i should have been taking keeping closer tabs on it and i really didn't know that the day was coming because i keep these are the only three goats i've got and i keep the buck with the with the does because if he's by himself he'll scream and whine but i now know that i need to in the future as the herd gets large enough i need to to actually dictate the the breeding window so that i'll know when to expect the delivery when you keep them together they just fall out and you find them by surprise and so I guess it's probably good that I experienced this early on in my journey. I'm sure it's not the last time it's ever going to happen, but I don't like it at all. I've put a tremendous amount of effort into nurturing that little baby right there from the time she was born so that she would be a productive mother herself. And uh, she physically, physiologically, she did the job. She did the job that I asked her. She matured rapid enough to breed the f first season. She delivered a healthy live birth. As far as I can tell, I, I believe it would have been live. I guess it's possible it's a stillborn. <clears throat> There's really no way for me to tell, but uh, uh, I have deep remorse right now. Oh, well. Well, I've got a nanny in a delivery room. I need to go get some tin just for the just for the moment so I can walk away. These pallets are up against this little shed here just to protect the if she drops any kids right now, I do not want these four dogs running in there and eating them. So I gotta go down back and grab a, a sheet of tin. <clears throat> I screw this thing shut and I keep her in there until she delivers. And this has become a routine. She's the one who came in here and bedded down, so she's comfy. Got a bunch of clean straw and some fresh hay. And, uh, well, I gotta go bring up some water, but... If she don't want to get up, I'm gonna say that it's time for her to deliver. Probably today. Praise the Lord.